Hello, it's Miss Barker and today I'm going to be reading the story The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. In this story, children will get to read about time. In this story, we learn about analogue time. Uh, children may also be used to using digital time. But in Key Stage 1, we focus on the use of the analogue clock. The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock it met a wasp. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist said the wasp, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you ins 
exist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its t big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to, the said to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. Whee! At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived the right back where it started from. Here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. Want to share them? Soon all the aphids were go gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. In this story, the author talks about o'clock times. This may be a good opportunity to recap on the meaning of clockwise and anti-clockwise. You might also want to use a clock you've got at home or you can use an interactive clock 
and you can talk about how the hour hand moves as the minute hand goes around the clock. And the children will be able to see that when it is an o'clock time, the long minute hand is on the 12 and the short hour hand is on the 7 for 7 o'clock.